everybody, welcome. We are back at NAB 2022 with the one and only Larry O'Connor from Other World Computing. How's everything going so far in this convention? It's going great. You know, it's just exciting to be back here with people, interacting with our customers, you know, being just to show everybody hands on, you know, how great all these products are. So, what's new uh, that you're showing off here at NAB? Well, I'll show you a preview. I'd like to see a preview of the Mini Sack Studio. Yeah. We have that. Uh, right over here. We can make a stop here. This is actually a Best of Show nominee. This is our new Flex 1U4 rack. It's the effectively a rack version of our Flex 8. You know, it's rather than a total of 8 drives, it's 4 drives, but it has the PCI slot in the back. It gives you the USB ports, the video, and the network uh, connectivity in a rack version as opposed to you know, the, our desktop. Our desktop version is over there. Now we have the rack version, and it's not just for hard drives. All four bays will take either a SAS drive, a SATA drive, or an NVMe or U.2 drive. So you have flexibility for three drives and an NVMe. You, have, you can do all drives, do all flash. And actually, what's really cool with this solution, in one bay, you have four lanes for NVMe. You can actually put our Shuttle 4, which is like a Thunderblade, you know, on a tray into the solution. So you have 2,800 megabytes, up to 32 terabytes of SSD capacity and 2,800 megabytes a second of performance alongside three drives, whether they're other NVMEs or hard drives. And what's the price on that going for right now? This product starts at under $1,000. Oh, that's not bad at all. So, and it's honestly, it's the only, there's other rack solutions out there. There is no rack solution that provides this kind of flexibility and the docking ports that this offers. This is our new Minisac Studio that's coming out in the future. Of course, the current Minisac stacks and, and works great with this. We give you the more, more Thunderbolt ports. The Minisac Studio, however, will not only give you five USB ports and the downstream port, so two A's in the back, Thunderbolt port for downstream, Thunderbolt for connectivity. On the front, two A's and a C. The C is 20, 20 watts for high power charging to an iPad. All the USB ports are full speed, 10G, you know, max capacity. You have limit, you, for the people who are migrating from the studio, a lot of people have a lot of, whether the USB dongles, licensed devices, USB ports are very important. So this device is going to cover all your USB, but you know, that's not all. Inside, performance, I mean, this machine is an amazing performer. It's unfortunately not SSD upgradable. Solid state and NVMe, especially in the studio for editing is, is, a, is a high value, high consideration, just because noiseless, et cetera. This product supports six NVMe drives and will ship with up to 48 terabytes of high-speed NVMe storage, 2,800 megabytes a second. So as a match for the studio, you know, you'll be able to add the USB ports that may be missing, plus have up to 2,800 megabytes and 48 terabytes of SSD stores. On top of that, this awesome Mac Studio has four Thunderbolt channels that are full 40 gigabit channels. They're not sharing those channels or sharing that bandwidth. You can put four of these together or four of our Thunderblades together and now approach about 10 gigabytes a second of sustained throughput by using SoftRaid and taking advantage of the four channels that this machine offers. You know, there's no other solution that can do that external of, of the max. I mean, in terms of a plug and play, I don't know how, how else to say it than you have extreme performance in the, these machines and we give you extremely high performance external options and with that reliability and that security that SoftRaid and all the OWC systems provide. Especially, like I got the new MacBook Pro with the M1, and then you realize, oh shoot, you have to convert everything to USB-C in order to make it work, or Thunderbolt, and then you're like stuck, and this is the perfect solution, especially when you have USB-A cables and anything else that you want to add to your Mac to utilize what you had in the past to what you need in the future. Uh, Whether it's a dock, I mean, our docks give you USB-As. This would solve the USB-A, you know, I should say probably, it provides you a solution for connecting USB. We have a lot of USB-A out there, and it's a pain to have a main little adapter. You know, this takes care of that. And it's not just for that. I mean, it, it's you know, the storage you're getting is solving a storage. So solving a storage challenge as well as make sure you've got the ports for that licensing for those devices, for all those things that still connect via USB type A. And then if you want to charge, that's a high speed, it's full, it's full speed USB-C, 10 gigabit, plus full charging, you can plug in an iPad, iPad Pro, those kinds of devices. They want convenience. I mean, keep your desktop uncluttered, you know, have everything you need in one place, and have the ability to really, you know, crush it when you're editing and have those big projects, because whether you're gonna go with six terabytes or 48 terabytes, extremely high-speed storage. And what else do we have here for? We can keep this guy, which is plugged in, it has a 
maybe playing off of even though it's in jest. Nonetheless, this is our new uh, CF Express reader. It reads all CFX uh, Express Type B cards. It supports up to, the full speed is the full two lanes, which you know the maximum speed of a CFX is about two, about, up to about two gigabytes a second. The fastest cars today are in the realm of about 17 or 70 megs a second. But this is Thunderbolt, 40 gigabit, but it's not just for Thunderbolt. It also is backwards compatible with USB. So if you have multiple machines in a, in a setup where you need to read CFX, you can put this on anything with USB-A or USB-C or Thunderbolt, and it will read at the maximum speed that connection offers. So if you're on an older machine, you get the USB 3, 5 gigabit. If you have a new machine with, or you're using a dock that has it available, you're out of Thunderbolt ports, but you have a, a, a 10 gigabit USB-C port, plug it in there, you get 10 gigabits. Plug it in the Thunderbolt, you get the full 40 gigabit Thunderbolt connection. Bus power, portable, the smallest reader of its kind, and it's the first universal reader that supports USB all the way up to Thunderbolt. It's part of our FX series, you know, just like our Envoy Pro FX, which is a storage, an external bus power storage device. Same, same deal. You can plug it into a machine from a decade ago, and you're going to run USB speeds. Plug it in to the latest uh, Mac, MacBook Pros, latest M1s, latest anything with Type-C uh, Thunderbolt, you get the full 40 gigabits of maximum performance Thunderbolt offers. You know, it's, you know, we're, all of our solutions are about maximizing the technology you already have, enabling you to, number one, use what you have today and maximize that, but also be future compatible and the ability to keep moving forward. We don't want to force anybody. We're not here to tell somebody they have to upgrade, have to replace something. But workflow that works, you want to keep using that workflow. You may need to enhance it. You may need to add something to it. And we've got those solutions. When the heart of that workflow is updated, that computer gets swapped out, our stuff goes with it. It's not a matter of buy it today and it's obsolete tomorrow. And we build these solutions to last as well. The power supplies, everything that goes into these products, you know, nothing is skimped. We don't shave a nickel here, a dollar here, at the cost of the longevity of these solutions. We over-engineer, we overbuild, so the power supplies run cool. The noise off a power supply is non-existent as opposed to something you're pushing to the edge, and the devices thus have a long, well, it's, I mean, it's, I'll say it, I mean, it's a long, healthy life. Yeah. You know, trouble-free. So that's what it's all about. And that's why your products are so awesome because, and we push it so much because these are products that are going to take a lick in and keep on ticking and last for a long time. Whereas other storage solutions usually break down or you don't know what's going to happen to them. These don't. These actually will work and they'll take a tick. They'll, they'll take some heavy video editing, to be honest, because we, we push some HDR now and they take it with no problem. That's how they're built and that's how we've always built our solutions and that's something, I mean, yeah, we we want we want to see the best customer experience, and we hope to earn customers' trust and referrals, and have new customers, and that's how we grow. We're not trying to grow or maintain business by producing a product that's destined to fail or have planned obsolescence. And subtle, very small choices—I shouldn't say small choices—choices, choices, easy, relatively easy choices for us that are made in the development process and in, in the design process are a huge difference between that solution, you know, maybe crapping out in a couple of years. Or being the solution that, you know, even today at the show, listening to the customer saying, yeah, I still have this chugging away from 10 years or 15 years ago. You know, it's, that's, that's what we want to hear. You know, there's certain things we can't control, but everything we can control, we, we build so that it, it lasts. And any other things else that you want to show us? Another, uh, how to say, uh, actually another NAB show uh, award nominee is our, well, uh, not this. But I will show this. Just showing me sport. You know, CFast is still out there. You know, we, we've introduced a CFast reader. Again, we're here for our customer, and that was just what's convenient for us. So, this is a USB-C CFast reader. Customers need CFast. It's just one of the very smallest portables. It's bus powered. It's USB-C. All of our cables now that we support for a universal USB actually come with a built-in dongle. Let me see if our adapter. And then it's attached to the cable, so it's not going to be lost when you need it. Just plugs in, plugs in the USB-A. So this is actually, this is an award nominee right here. This is our Thunderbolt Pro Dock, which we just recently introduced. But in any event, what we have here is our Thunderbolt Pro Dock. It is the only dock in the market, in addition to give you USB, video, they also give in an audio, and a CFast, a CF, I'm sorry, a CF Express reader, all in a Thunderbolt dock. It's the only dock in the market that also gives you 10G plug and play ethernet. So high speed networking, everything you know, a professional workflow needs built into this pro doc, which is why it was our pro doc. So those are our new products. 
We also have our new, I can show you the new jellyfish, although quite frankly I'd love to hand you off to Sam or Ronnie who will do a far better job other than to say the jellyfish is that solution that eliminates the need for an IT team. This is a plug and play solution for, for clients that lets you do collaborative high speed, high speed video editing, production, ingest, and ultimately a push out. Other world computing is pushing the envelope like no other that I, that I know of and being a tech guy. I appreciate it. Well, I'll tell you what, this is really at this point, it's A to Z, literally from camera all the way to, to screen. And you know, that reminds me, I forgot to even mention, you know, we have these great readers. It's also because we have our new Atlas SD cards and our new Atlas uh, Express, C, uh, geez, our CF Express Atlas cards, Atlas Pro, Ultra, and Astros Pro. So from camera, you know, to ingest, to production, to editing, to backup, I mean, whatever it may be, we, we really have you covered and covered in a way where you can count on the solution and know that your data is safe, that the performance is there, that you can get your job done. And you know, it's all about technology should never be a hindrance, it should never be a burden. It's there to allow you to be more creative and, and that's, that's what we're here to make happen. Exactly, and like always, how can people buy any of the products that they see today? So please visit maxsales.com or owbc.com and you know, of course we're always, always thrilled. I mean, do you have your favorite reseller? If they have, if you, if they have OWC there, please support them. If they don't have OWC, well, you, you know what to tell them. Exactly. So. exactly. And you can find links on all the videos and even on the web, Muse TV website in order to buy the products. There goes directly to the site, and you'll be able to get those sent to you ASAP. Larry, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Always a good time talking with you. Likewise, thank you so much for having us. It's good to be back at the show, and I'm already my voice is already fading. <laughs> it's been a great show, so I'm exactly. sure you're getting the. A lot of great things being covered here. You know, hope to see more people here. You know, come next year. Exactly, and hopefully we'll see you soon. Absolutely.